everyone, Sherlock Phantom One here and welcome back. Today, we are going to be doing one of my videos that I am very excited about and have been planning for about a year and a half now. Today, we are going to be trying traditional Christmas foods that I've never had. So sit back, grab a snack, and let's get started. All right, first up that I don't think I'm gonna like because I don't like creamy pastries like this, um, a chocolate Yule log. So let's check it out and let's see what it's about. I actually have never had a Yule log before, or Yule log, I don't know how, whatever you wanna say it is. So this is just one big Yule log. Oh boy, okay. I did bring, I did bring a plate just for exactly an occasion like this. I thought maybe they would be individually wrapped, but I guess not. Ooh, it smells really good though. It smells like just pure chocolate. And also, um, I do like chocolate. I didn't know if there was a better one because I like chocolate and vanilla, but I've never seen a chocolate Yule Log, so. Okay, so I went with a pretty big piece. This is not hard, to, this is not easy to tear off of here. One is the absolute worst, will not ever try this again. And five will be the absolute best, would love to have this again on Christmas. So, Let's try the Yule Log and see where it lands. Ooh, that's amazing. I'm sorry, this is so rude. I should have had a rag or something. This is so good. How do I describe it? Um, It's kind of like eating chocolate ice cream, but like if chocolate ice cream was in a bread form, I guess. It's really good though. It tastes, I guess chocolate mousse, is the, they said that this was, would have chocolate mousse in it and you can definitely taste it. It's really good, oh my gosh. The log's absolute number five. Could not be better. Literally highly recommend, 10 out of 10. A little water for a palate cleanser. Next up, we have Terry's Chocolate Orange. I'm very excited, I've never tried a chocolate orange. I have heard from Ashley Burton. I follow her a lot. She's really funny. She's a movie commentary. Let's just get into it, I guess. Let's see what it's all about. It's very cutely packaged, though. Oh, look at it. It's so, it's so heavy. It's such a dense object. You could, like, throw this like a baseball. Ooh. Smells like oranges, so that's good. Look at this. It's so pretty and wrapped. Look at that! Look at how individually wrapped it is! It's so cute! See, a lot of my thing is that a lot of the time, if I don't like the smell of something, I'm probably not going to like the food. How do I approach this? Because I was going to take off one little piece, but I didn't know how to... How do I do it? Oh, I got it. Okay. Ooh. Look at that! Look at how cute it is! Ooh. Wait. Mmm! Chocolate orange, 10 out of 10, would recommend. Amazing! Again, I don't even taste any orange. I don't know if it's because of the one I got. I just got original. And it's Terry's original, so I don't know if it makes a difference. But oh my gosh, that is so good. It maybe a little has a little bit of orange in it, because I kind of taste a little bit of citrus of like orange juice. Look at that, that is so good. Highly recommend. I don't know, some people just don't like citrus and chocolate, but for me it totally works. This I got at Dollar Tree. Again, I don't know if that weakens the quality, probably by a little bit but it's peanut brittle. I don't love peanuts that much, so I'm kind of thinking this is probably gonna be one that's not great for me. Except I feel like kind of cheaped out that the box is this big and the package is this big. Then again, it was a Dollar Tree, so I guess who am I mad at? Ooh, it smells like I might not be a fan though. Because it smells like peanuts, and again, I'm not a big peanut person. So these are some big pieces of uh, brittle though. Again, I'm not a fan because it already smells like just pure peanut butter, and I like peanut butter, but I'm not a huge like fan of peanut treats. So let's see. This is the peanut brittle. 
I do not like it at all. It, it's something about it. It's not even, it doesn't taste good. It just tastes nasty. And it, I don't know that I even got a peanut flavor. I just got an overwhelming flavor of something I did not like. So the peanut brittle, a definite one. Absolutely not. If you like peanut brittle, more power to you. I do not like it. I'm not a fan. Right. Eggnog. And this is just regular eggnog. I didn't do anything to the eggnog. But I have probably had eggnog at some point in my life. I just don't remember it. So um, here we are. You're going to experience my technically first time drinking eggnog. So it's called Old Fashioned Eggnog. Dairy Gold. So if that means anything. Ooh, that smells interesting. I don't know. I don't know, you guys. I don't know if this is gonna be for me. Here, because if I don't like it, I don't wanna waste a whole bunch. Okay, I think this is enough to get a full idea of if I like eggnog or not. I don't know, it smells interesting is the best way I can describe it. It smells like clearly, eggs, but also like a really sweet smell. Let's do it. Ooh! Wow! What does that taste like? There is something Christmassy that I've had before that it tastes like, but what is it? Kind of like a Christmas scented candle? Okay, wow, that's not terrible. Wow, there are a lot of Christmas foods I must really like, cause that's, that's not bad. Okay, so here's the, I don't know that I could drink this leisurely. I think that this would have to be a once in a while thing because I don't know that I love it enough to like sit and drink gallons of it, but like once in a while at like a Christmas party or something or like a family get together, that would be nice. You know, I'll put the rankings at the end, but so far I think it goes like this. Yule Log, five. Orange, five. Eggnog, it's a four, just because I don't know that I drink it all the time. And peanut brittle way down at number one. Let's do the very last food. The traditional, classic, most, I think, hated Christmas food. Bum, bada, bum, 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 bum. Fruit cake. So let's get into it. I'm very excited. I've never had fruitcake. I've literally only seen it in Grandma Got Run Over by a Reindeer and in other Christmas specials where everybody's always like, ugh, fruitcake. Ugh, I hate fruitcake. So here is what it looks like. Again, I don't know if that's a good thing, a bad thing. I don't know if a uh, fruitcake is, a, you know, normally supposed to look as greasy, I guess. But you know, we'll just jump into it. Doesn't that look pretty? That smells like a freaking candy coma. Oh my gosh, I don't know now. That makes me so nervous. I don't know that I'm gonna like this because that smell is just something else. All right, I got my little piece. Oh, it's so sticky. I'm not even kidding, and this is not a flack on Walmart, but that smells just awful. And I don't know, it's it's not expired, so I don't know if fruitcake just smells like that or what. But I got my piece. I'm gonna really, I'm gonna really try to take a full bite, and I got my bag ready because I can already tell just from having the scent that it does not smell good. So please let me not throw up on camera. Ugh, it just stinks. So, I don't know what that smell is. It smells like, it smells like really nasty candy. Let's just do it.
if you took some really squishy bread and you ate it and then you put a whole bunch of jelly in your mouth and I mean like just squirted the jelly in your mouth that's what this tastes like probably a one because I I don't know I guess it's not bad so maybe a 1.5 because it wasn't terrible but I would probably not eat this again honestly it it just tastes funny it just doesn't taste like something that's savory like the other foods or something that's like really Christmassy that you know sit down and eat a big old piece of fruit cake and you just feel really warm and fuzzy inside like this makes me feel like again I just scooped a whole spoonful of jelly in my mouth and that is it for today, you guys. Sorry if this was kind of a long one. I wanted to include as many clips and foods as I could. Hope your holidays are going awesome. Hope you guys are feeling happy and you're having a blessed day. Thank you so much for watching. And be sure to like, subscribe, and even comment down below what was your favorite Christmas food or least favorite Christmas food. It doesn't have to be one of the ones I did. But let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. And until next time, bye, guys. Okay.